Harvesters Kids Zone online service. My name is Tomilayo and I'm so happy to be here today. So we're starting a new series this month and the theme is Secrets of the Cross. Our topic for today is be forgiven. Has someone hurt you so bad that you found it difficult to forgive? What does the Bible say about forgiveness? Are we supposed to forgive those who hurt us even if they don't apologize for it? We're going to find out the answers to these questions today. It's going to be an interesting lesson. So I'll give you some time to get your notepads and your Bibles and I'll see you soon. Welcome back. So let's take a moment to say a word of prayer. Close your eyes and repeat after me. Say after me, Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you because you're good and kind to me. Thank you for loving and forgiving me. Help me to love and forgive others just as you have loved and forgiven me. In Jesus' name we pray. And we say aloud, Amen, Amen. Okay, so back to our topic for today. So what is forgiveness? Forgiveness is a conscious and deliberate decision to release the feelings of vengeance towards those who have hurt us. When you forgive someone, you're not thinking of how to get back at them because you have indeed let them go. I'm sure in one way or the other people have hurt us. Sometimes they apologize for it, or sometimes they don't. What does the Bible say about forgiveness? Let's look at the example of Jesus. Jesus, when he was on the cross, and he was nailed on the cross, the first thing he said was, Father, forgive them, for they did not know what they do. Wow, that is extremely powerful. Imagine, these are the people that spat on Jesus, they mocked him, they beat him and they hated him. Yet, Jesus still forgave them. Jesus wants us to forgive those who hurt us just like how he forgave others. And also, Jesus forgave us even when we did not believe in him by dying on the cross for us. We're gonna watch a story about an unmerciful servant and we're gonna come back to discuss what we've learned from this story. Stories of the Bible. The Parable of the Unforgiving Servant This is Jesus hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, 
He taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, Jesus was talking with his disciples and teaching them when Peter asked, Um, Gira? How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus said, No, not seven times, but seventy times seven. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, The kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to get his money back that he had let his servants borrow. While the king was doing this, one of the servants who owed him a million dollars was brought in. One million dollars, please? The servant couldn't pay, so the king ordered that he be sold, along with his family and everything he owned, to pay the debt. Wait, please! But the servant begged the king, Please be patient with me, and I will pay it all. Then his king was filled with pity for him, and he let him go and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. Uh, hi? Come here, Will. He grabbed him and demanded that he pay him back immediately. Oh, wait, please! His fellow servant begged for a little more time. He said, be patient with me and I will pay it. No! But the servant wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be punished until he had paid all that he owed. Jesus then said, that's what my heavenly Father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. Wow, so many lessons to learn. The unmerciful servants obtained forgiveness, but he didn't forgive others. Jesus showed us his love and his grace by forgiving us even when we're still in our sins and he expects us to extend that forgiveness towards others. Also, the Bible says that we should forgive others so God himself can forgive us. I know sometimes it can be very difficult to forgive other people, especially when they are not sorry. Do you know you can ask God for help and trust that he is going to give you the grace to forgive other people? Also remember, that you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Now it's time to recite our memory verse. As usual, the first time you watch me, the second time you repeat after me, and the third time we'll say it together. Are you ready for this? Let's go. Our memory verse is 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18. And it says, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who perish. But to us who are saved, it is the power of God. Did you get that? So the second time, you repeat after me, okay? Our memory verse is 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18. And it says, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who perish. But to us who are saved, it is the power of God. Wonderful, great job, friends. So now we're going to do it together. Are you ready at the count of three? One, two, three. Our memory verse is 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18 and it says for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who perish but to us who are saved 
It is the power of God. Great job, friends. Well done. So keep reciting the verse during the week, okay? And remember to forgive others as Jesus also forgave us. If you're joining us for the first time, you are most welcome. I hope you had a wonderful time with us today. Please ask dad or mom to text new to the number showing on the screen. Have a wonderful time and see you next week. Bye. This is a story, a story of a book, a book that was written a long, long time ago. This book is a story of adventure, action, love, joy, pain, and hope. In this book, there's a story of a cross. This cross is a mystery to some, hope to others, and known by all. This cross has secrets that are found in statements. Join me as we discover the secrets of the cross. There's a neighborhood where a group of kids known as the Tracers regularly solve the locals' biggest mysteries. Mrs. Sally's trash can has been stolen. That's right, I said stolen. Well today, things were about to change for the Tracers. What they found that day would not only lead them on an adventure of a lifetime, it would change their lives forever. What was it that they found? I'll show you. All right, what do we know? We found this. Ooh, what is it? It's a map. Cool. Where did you find that? Yeah, where did you find that? In a tree. A, a tree? tree? Sitting inside a tree. Yep. <gasps> Maybe a treasure tree. We, we brought, brought cookies. cookies. No, thank you. Yes, thank you. What's the map of? I found it, I don't know. Guys, I know what it is. Who? What? When? Huh? Huh? Brownies? Mmm, thank you. I know what this is a map of. Oh. What is it a map of? This is our neighborhood. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this neighborhood? Uh, uh, yes, it is. Question, if that's our neighborhood, where's our school? Well, it's not there. My point exactly. Yet. Um, I'm a little confused. This is a map of our neighborhood before it was a neighborhood. Whoa. That just blew my mind. Oh, yeah, I still don't get it. Here, look at this. Now picture it with all of the houses gone. She went on to explain how the map worked where everything would be if they lived in that neighborhood today, where the grocery stores would be, houses would be, schools would be, and then it hit them. Whoa, this is big. Do you think it's treasure? Yeah, do you think it's treasure? Whatever it is, let's find it. And so the tracers set out with a map, a few essentials, and some cookies to find what could be the most important discovery of their life. Are we close? It's hard to tell. The question is, are there any bears out here? It's cool, I've got bear repellent. Look! Look. 
Is it in another language? Should we get some cupcakes? Or scones? Be forgiving. I will, but but what does it say? No, that's what it says. Oh. Be forgiving. Oh. I wonder why that's written on there. Hey, isn't that what Jesus said on the cross? What the tracers found was a secret of the cross. The statement, be forgiving, comes from the Bible story of when Jesus was hanging on the cross paying the price for our sins. He loves us all so much that he didn't want us to pay the price for our own sins. He wanted to pay the price for our sins. And while he was on the cross paying the price for our sins, people were walking by making fun of him. He took the time to forgive those people because he wanted us to know how important it was to forgive. And if Jesus can do that, we can do that. Let's look at a story and see what happens when we choose not to forgive someone, and then what happens when we choose to forgive someone. Now sometimes, it's hard to forgive someone. Maybe someone has done something really bad to you or something really wrong to you. You see, Jesus was completely innocent when he chose to forgive those people who were doing wrong things to him. Just because you forgive them doesn't make what they did right. It doesn't make it okay, but it makes your heart okay. And that's the most important thing. The Bible says above all else to guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. You can guard it by forgiving people who have done wrong things to you. And that's why the first secret of the cross is be forgiving. Join us next time as we discover more secrets of the cross. Let's take this gold back to headquarters. Guys! There's another treasure map on the back.